Hello students, in this session, we will try to learn the last uh, consensus algorithm and that is proof of elapsed uh, time. Uh, so in previous uh, sessions, we have studied proof of work, uh, proof of stake and proof of uh, burn. And this is the last uh, consensus algorithm uh, that we have to study, uh, proof of elapsed uh, time. Uh, so this proof of elapsed time uh, is an efficient alternative to the proof of work uh, consensus algorithm. So we have studied three consensus algorithms, uh, proof of work algorithm, proof of stake algorithm, proof of uh, burn algorithm. Uh, in proof of work, uh, miners compete to each other uh, to propose a new block in the uh, uh, blockchain network. Uh, so for proposing a block uh, in the uh, blockchain networks, miners will collect the transactions. Uh, transactions are kept in the uh, transactions are placed in the block, and uh, when certain number of transactions are received, uh, then miners will try to solve the mathematical puzzle. Uh, for solving the mathematical puzzle, uh, the miners require high performance computer and also lots of uh, energy, lots of power um, is required to solve the mathematical uh, puzzle. So uh, the network servers adjust uh, the uh, time uh, time uh, to solve the mathematical puzzle. Uh, so the time required to propose a block is fixed uh, that is at uh, 10. Uh, so difficulty level of this mathematical puzzle depending uh, depends on the number of nodes in the uh, system and other parameters are also there that we have studied in the previous sessions. Uh, so in the case of proof of work, an expensive uh, expensive computation is required uh, to create a uh, new block and propagate the message to other nodes in the network. And it is expensive because uh, it incurs a cost for the electricity, electricity utilized by the uh, special mining hardware. Uh, this special mining hardware is nothing but the uh, powerful computer that can solve the mathematical uh, uh, puzzle and for solving the mathematical puzzle. Uh, the uh, node requires a, a powerful machine and uh, uh, power also, electric power also. Uh, then we have studied a proof of uh, stake. Uh, in proof of stake, uh, miners have to hold uh, currency, uh, certain uh, number of bitcoins, uh, certain number of uh, currency in the uh, bitcoin network as a stake. We call that uh, currency whatever the currency miner is holding uh, that is nothing but the stake uh, stake uh, in the uh, bitcoin network uh, so if miner has uh, invested some uh, certain currency uh, then that miners uh, miners can propose a block in the uh, network so higher the currency the miner will hold higher the chance uh, more is the chance the miner will get the uh, uh, chance uh, to propose a block in the Network. So in this uh, uh, proof of stake mechanism, uh, there is a problem uh, if a node is holding a higher currency then that node gets, gets the chance to propose a block in the network. Uh, so uh, it's, uh, it means that the node that always holds a higher currency that will get the chance again. So it will create a monopoly problem uh, in the Bitcoin network, uh, in the blockchain network. Uh, so to avoid this monopoly problem, the uh, proof of stake algorithm uses uh, mechanisms, uh, mechanisms uh, like uh, randomized selection and a uh, coinage uh, uh, selection. Uh, so that we have studied in the uh, previous sessions also. What is, what is randomized selection and, uh, uh, and uh, coinage uh, selection? So uh, uh, then we have studied proof of uh, burn. Uh, in proof of burn uh, algorithm, the uh, the uh, my uh, validator, we know that in proof of stake, uh, we don't use the word uh, mining, but instead of that, forging, forging is used, and miners are called validators, and uh, miners uh, for proposing a block, after proposing a block, the uh, validators must receive certain number of attestations. If certain number of attestations are uh, received, uh, then that block is confirmed and block is inserted in the uh, blockchain. Uh, this is about the proof of stake. Uh, then in proof of uh, burn, uh, 
द वैलिडेटर द वैलिडेटर हेज टू वैलिडेटर इज नथिंग बट द माइनर द फॉर माइनर द अल्टरनेट वर्ड इज यूज इन प्रूफ ऑफ स्टेक एंड प्रूफ ऑफ वन वर्क एंड दैट अल्टरनेट वर्ड इज वैलिडेटर वैलिडेटर हैज टू बर्न हैज टू बर्न द कॉइन्स हैज टू बर्न द कॉइन्स टू शो इंटरेस्ट इन द माइनिंग प्रोसेस टू शो इंटरेस्ट इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ क्रिएटिंग द ब्लॉक्स फॉर फॉर दैट पर्पज माइनर्स हैज टू बर्न द कॉइन्स एंड हायर द कॉइन्स द माइनर विल बर्न uh get greater is the chance uh, that uh, that value uh, that node will be selected as the validator for uh, proposing a block and once the coins are burn uh, that coins are inaccessible uh, that uh, coins uh, can uh, cannot be recovered that coin cannot get back uh, so uh, this mechanisms we have studied um, proof of work uh, proof of stake and proof of burn and then there is an one more algorithm uh, proof of elapsed time uh, that we have to study in this uh, 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 session so this proof of uh, elapsed time is based on the intel's intel's uh, specialized purpose uh, special purpose processor uh, for mining purpose uh, that has special technology sgx uh, software guard extension Uh, so we will see what is this sgx and how this uh, proof of elapsed time algorithm uh, works uh, so proof of elapsed time was developed by developed by uh, chip manufacturing uh, giant uh, intel uh, back in 2006 as an efficient uh, consensus mechanism uh, primarily for uh, permission uh, blockchain network so this uh, algorithm proof of elapsed time algorithm is uh, designed specifically for Uh, permissioned blockchain networks uh, so the main component of this algorithm is sgx uh, sgx software guard software guard extension uh, so we will see in the next uh, slide what is the software guard extension uh, so uh, as i said a critical component of this proof of elapse time is uh, uh, software guard extension uh, this uh, software guard Uh, extension is introduced by intel uh, uh, intel uh, the processor manufacturing company uh, so critical component of uh, poet consensus is the innovative technology uh, that works uh, in conjunction uh, with uh, to perform the way that it does intel's hyped software uh, guard extension programming uh, that uh, uh, provides the facility uh, to run a code uh, to run a code in Uh, protected environment uh, that protected environment is uh, created by the uh, this intel uh, company this uh, uh, protected environment or you can say trusted execution environment gives the guarantee uh, that the code is trusted and it is protected uh, it is protected from the uh, malicious attacks so this sgx uh, sgx uh, is introduced in 2015 with intel's uh, sixth generation core processors core processors sgx sgx functions as a trusted execution environment uh, so uh, you can uh, read this uh, uh, trusted execution environment sgx functions as a, a trusted execution environment which allows uh, to select a trusted code to run independently of the applications and that it runs in uh, so this sgx uh, allows uh, the functions as a trusted execution environment this provides a uh, environment uh, in that uh, the trusted code, code is executed and this uh, gives the guarantee that uh, the code is uh, trusted code is uh, secure uh, from the external access uh, so we will see uh, what is this sgx uh, uh, so in the next slide we will see more about this sgx what is sgx sgx is a sophisticated technology uh, at its uh, core it is effectively a set of instruction sgx is a set of instructions for a cpu that is used by the applications uh, to isolate specific structured region of the code and data so you can read this sentence uh, this uh, sgx uh, sgx is a sophisticated technology at its core it is effectively a set of instruction this sgx is nothing but a set of instructions for a cpu that is used by the applications uh, to isolate a specific uh, trusted region of the code and 
uh, data. So by using this AGX, we can isolate, um, we can separate uh, specific code, specific region of the code and data. Uh, 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 this code will not be uh, available to uh, external access. So it provides a secure uh, envelope. Uh, secure, uh, it provides a secure, uh, secure uh, enclave for a developer. Uh, this provides a secure environment for uh, developers uh, to protect. You can read the sentence. Uh, it provides a secure uh, enclave for developer, developers to protect sensitive data, uh, data and code from outside uh, interference or uh, inspection. So it provides a secure uh, mechanism uh, for protecting the sensitive code and sensitive data. Uh, from the outside uh, interference and uh, uh, inspection. So code that runs, uh, the code that runs trusted execution environment uh, using HGX can pro produce a signed attestation uh, from and provides authentication, authentication that code has been uh, correctly initialized in a trusted environment. So this HGX, uh, this HGX provides a signed att attestation for code uh, and uh, authentication uh, it gives the guarantee uh, that the code has been correctly initialized the code has been correctly initialized in the trusted environment so it provides a pair of keys private and public key and from public key uh, the other nodes other nodes in the network uh, gets the guarantee that uh, the code uh, code is a secure code uh, it is executing in the trusted um, environment uh, and uh, this code is not tampered by any other uh, external uh, agencies or external nodes. So, so this is the guarantee uh, that is given by this HGX technology software guard extension uh, in which the codes are ex executed in TEE environment. TEE means trusted executed execution environment. So uh, this code, uh, uh, this HGX, uh, you can read the last sentence. Uh, it creates an attestation. Uh, it creates and attestation for a piece of code and protects uh, the code from external access. Uh, so it creates an attestation. It creates an attestation means it will create a uh, key, a pair of keys, private keys and public key for a code and it protects the code from external access. Uh, so uh, until the external uh, people have the, uh, these keys, uh, private keys and public key, uh, they cannot uh, view uh, this code and they cannot uh, inspect uh, this code. So this is the guarantee uh, that, give, the, uh, that is given by this HGX. Uh, so this HGX is used in first phase. Uh, when the node, when the user who wants to uh, propose a block, uh, when the nodes, when the user, when the node wants to join a uh, network, blockchain network, then at that time, uh, the role of this HGX is important. Uh, so we will see uh, what is the role of this HGX. Once the node will join uh, the network, uh, then there is a next uh, uh, processes that node can propose a block, uh, node can validate the block. Uh, so during the joining of the uh, uh, joining process, when the node will join the uh, blockchain network, at that time, uh, this uh, HGX will uh, from uh, the core node will download the a trusted code and a trusted code uh, uh, and then this trusted code gives the guarantee that uh, this code is protected uh, this code is protected from the outside interference or uh, inspection uh, so you can see students how this POAT work uh, POAT consensus uh, algorithm proof of we are studying the proof of elapsed time uh, consensus algorithm uh, so in POAT a uh, consensus algorithm POAT is an efficient form of proof of work uh, that removes the need uh, that removes the need for mining intensive process. So in this POAT there is you no know, uh, uh, difficult mining process like in P proof of work the miner has to solve the mathematical puzzle. Uh, so instead of that uh, there is a simple process and this POAT replaces uh, uh, this process with a randomized mine timer, uh, randomized timer system. Uh, for the network uh, participants. So you uh, try uh, to remember this word, a timer. This timer word is important for this POAT. Uh, so we will see what is the significance of timer. Uh, first we will see how this POAT works. Basically, uh, in this uh, POAT algorithm, uh, each network participant is given a random timer object and the first uh, timer to expire wakes up uh, that uh, participant um, who becomes the block leader and produces a 
uh, new block. So I will try to explain this uh, in simple words. This is the only two lines concept. In two lines we can explain this algorithm. Uh, first thing is that it requires a GX uh, software guard protection. That is the uh, special uh, mechanism uh, provided by the Intel. Uh, this uh, GX is required during the first phase of this PoT algorithm when the node will join to the network. And after joining the uh, uh, network, uh, then how the consensus mechanism will work? Uh, so this in this uh, mechanism, uh, the network server will give a random timer, random timer object. And what is timer? Uh, in timer, uh, it is like when we set an alarm. Uh, when we set an alarm and uh, uh, when that time will come, that alarm will uh, buzz. So in timer, we set some timer or time uh, value. Suppose we set a value 10. Uh, then uh, that value is decremented in every attrition. 10, 9, 8, uh, uh, then 7, uh, 6, 5. So in this way, when it will reach to the 0, uh, then signal is generated, wake up signal is generated. So in this same way, uh, each node is given a timer. Uh, each uh, node is given timer and the uh, 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 nodes will uh, start counting down this timer and when this timer will ex uh, expire, uh, the node uh, whose timer will expire first, uh, you try to understand this sentence. This is the only uh, single line uh, that explains all this PoT algorithm. Uh, the node whose timer expires first, that node will get a chance to propose a block uh, in the uh, Bitcoin network. This is the only one line uh, that we can say about this uh, PoT. Uh, the nodes are given timer, uh, then uh, uh, these timers uh, 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 will start counting down and the node, the node whose timer expires, uh, expires uh, that node will get chance, that node will get chance to propose a block, to propose a block in the uh, proof of elapsed time algorithm. So you try to read, read this sentence. Uh, again, I will show you, this, this is the only one sentence that is important. Uh, you can see students, um, I am reading this sentence. Uh, so this basically, uh, each network uh, participant, each user, each node in the system is given a random timer object, random timer object and first the timer uh, to expire wake up, uh, wakes up that participant, uh, whose, uh, the participant whose timer will expire first, uh, that part participant will wake up and uh, that participant, that participant you can uh, see, that participant becomes a block leader. Uh, whose timer will expire first, that uh, participant will become a block leader and that participant produces a new block. Produces a new block means that participant proposes a new block. Uh, so you can see uh, there are two steps of this uh, PoT algorithm. Uh, you try to understand, very simple, uh, very easy algorithm is this, uh, only uh, concept is that uh, it uses the AGX, AGX provides a trusted environment it just gives the guarantee that the code is executing in the trusted environment and no one can tamper uh, this, store, uh, this code. So in uh, there are two steps uh, for the node. Uh, first step is you can see, uh, first step is joining the node and verification of the TE using AGX attestation. attestation. So you can read, uh, first step is joining the network. First step is joining the network and veris verification of TE using uh, AGX attestation. So first step of this and, uh, POET algorithm is joining the network and for joining the network the node has to download the uh, uh, trusted code. Uh, trusted code. Uh, so we will see uh, in the next slide. And then second uh, step of this POET algorithm is that the actual mining lot lottery elapsed time round. Uh, so we know that how this actual second step is. In second step, first step, in first step the node will join to the network. Uh, then second step is uh, for mining process, uh, the system will give uh, a timer, uh, timer object to each node and the node uh, whose uh, timer will expire first, the node whose timer will expire first, that node will get chance, chance uh, to propose a block in the uh, this uh, uh, blockchain network. So we will see. Uh, the steps of this POT algorithm, first step is joining network and second step is uh, lottery. This is the lottery. Uh, uh, 
एनी वन कैन गेट द चांस एवरी वन इज गिवन टाइमर एंड द नोड हुज टाइमर विल एक्सपायर दैट नोड विल बी गिवन चांस सो देर इज नो एनी फिक्स क्राइटेरिया दैट द नोड विल बी सिलेक्टेड सो इन प्रूफ ऑफ बर्न द नोड हू विल बर्न लार्जर पॉइंट दैट विल गेट चांस इन प्रूफ ऑफ स्टेक द नोड हू इज होल्डिंग लार्जर स्टेक लार्जर स्टेक मीन्स लार्जर करंसी and uh, that node will get chance so in pot uh, such is not a case so in uh, pot anyone can get the uh, chance only the requirement is that uh, this pot uh, pot algorithm will send a uh, timer to object a uh, timer object to each node and the node uh, whose the timer expires first uh, that node will get the chance uh, to propose a block in the uh, blockchain network Uh, so you can see students this pot algorithm has two steps uh, first step is uh, joining network and second step is uh, how the node is selected uh, the node is selected on based on the timer uh, the node whose timer will expire uh, that node will get the chance so first uh, we will see the first step of this algorithm pot network joining so in pot a potential participant a participant who wants to uh, join the network uh, in pot a potential participant in the network Uh, the potential participant downloads the trusted code uh, if the potential when the node, node wants to join a uh, blockchain network the node will download first the trusted code and then it will propagate a join message uh, join message to the network with the sign attestation after downloading the trusted code uh, the node will get the sign attestation in the form of public and private key uh, so first uh, the when the node will uh, node wants to join the network node will download a trusted code uh, then it will propagate a join message join message means the node wants to send to the other nodes uh, that the, uh, this new node wants to join the uh, network uh, so other nodes uh, uh, will verify the uh, code uh, trusted code the network of uh, 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 nodes the other nodes uh, the network of nodes either accept or reject the attestation uh, so whatever the attestation is provided in the form of public and private key other nodes will either reject that attestation or accept that attestation and if the uh, attestation is acceptable accepted uh, if this public and private key uh, is acceptable accepted uh, then uh, the uh, node will join the uh, network so uh, if accepted the participant uh, joins the uh, network and can participate in the a uh, lottery process and uh, yeah. so this is the first step net network joining in the first step when the node wants to join and the node will join the trusted code and uh, it will uh, send a join message uh, to the other nodes uh, with the signed attestation uh, in the form of public and private key pair and other nodes in the network uh, will either accept or reject the attestation and if accepted uh, the participant joins the participant uh, joins the network and uh, can participate can participate in the mining process can participate in the uh, lottery selection process, process. Uh, so we will see uh, the next step of this algorithm uh, so student uh, the last step of this uh, second step uh, not last this two uh, algorithm has only two step uh, first step is joining the network and second step is uh, uh, random selection process random how the nodes are selected for mining Uh, depending on the timer uh, each node will given uh, will be given object, uh, timer object and the node uh, whose uh, timer will expire first uh, that node will get the chance uh, to propose a block in the uh, system uh, so you can see uh, the second step is the elapsed time lottery random selection uh, this is the second and final phase of the consensus algorithm uh, in each round of the consensus uh, the network participants uh, receive a signed timer the network participant And the nodes network participants are nothing but the nodes or we can say miners or validators uh, so this validators or miners will receive a, a timer object from the trusted code uh, which is completely randomized and each participant subsequently waits for their uh, timer to expire each participant will wait uh, for their timer to expire and the first one uh, to expire gets to be the winner the a uh, node whose timer will expire first that node will become a winner and that node will get a chance to uh, propose a block uh, to propose a block in the uh, blockchain network so this is the, uh, the uh, this uh, pot algorithm 
uh, the first one to expire gets the uh, gets to be the winner and this means that this block creates a new block this node this node creates a new block attaches it attaches it uh, to the current blockchain and gets the reward this node will get the reward uh, for adding a block in the uh, blockchain so then the nodes are and then after um, uh, this process is completed uh, then uh, system will start again uh, the nodes are again initialized uh, then again uh, the timer object is given for next uh, block addition and this uh, process uh, round this process will restart again and in this way the blocks are added uh, in the uh, blockchain uh, network each node is given timer object and the node whose timer will expire first uh, that node will get the chance uh, to add a block to propose a block in the uh, blockchain so this algorithm has two steps uh, first joining step and second is uh, step is uh, this uh, elapsed time uh, lottery random selection uh, in this uh, each timer is uh, each of the uh, node is given a timer object and uh, the node whose timer will expire first that node will get chance uh, to propose a block in the uh, blockchain students uh, advantages of this uh, poet algorithm is that poet is a, POET uh, is a substantial improvement in the efficiency efficiency of the proof of work system simultaneously it provides a, a great solution to the random leader selection so in this uh, poet algorithm nodes are nodes are selected randomly uh, in previous algorithms we show uh, seen that how the nodes are selected for proposing a block if we uh, remember proof of work how the node will be selected uh, to propose a block in the a proof of work algorithm in proof of work uh, the nodes will solve the mathematical puzzle and nodes require a powerful computer and the node who will solve the mathematical puzzle that node will get a chance to propose a block in the network uh, then in proof of stake we have studied uh, the node must hold a certain amount of stake certain amount of currency certain amount of coins in the network to propose a block the node who owns uh, who holds a larger currency larger coins larger number of coins that node will get the chance so there are uh, this will create a monop this may create a monopoly problem so to avoid it there is a two uh, mechanisms a randomized selection and uh, coinage selection that we have studied and in proof of burn uh, we have studied that uh, node has to burn uh, burn the coins uh, this will reduce the number of coins in the circulation uh, because no once the coins are burned and that coins are not uh, accessible that coins are coins are not available in the system uh, so this will uh, uh, create the uh, this will reduce the number of coins in the this proof of burn will so this uh, 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 algorithm has uh, various disadvantages in proof of work uh, powerful computer uh, power uh, also electricity power is required then in proof of stake uh, the uh, the miner must hold a larger currency that uh, must hold a larger currency in the system bitcoin network and in proof of burn the miner has to uh, burn uh, the uh, coins but in this uh, uh, pot there is no need of burning the coins there is no need of holding the currency and also there is no need of powerful computer also uh, so it is based on the random uh, random leader sel uh, random selection uh, simply a timer is given and the time node whose timer expires first uh, that node will get the chance to propose it uh, block in the blockchain network so uh, this uh, this is uh, this algorithm is a great solution uh, to the random leader selection problem without being uh, resource intensive we don't require any resources or requiring it uh, we don't require even a complex algorithm complex hardware such type of things are not essential in this proof of uh, elapsed time so uh, it also provides a great solution to the random leader selection problem uh, without uh, being resource resource intensive or requiring a complex staking mechanism we don't need to stake the currency we don't need to burn the um, coins and we don't need any in, uh, incentive structures uh, as with the proof of stake consensus so this is a very simple and powerful uh, algorithm so students we have studied all the consensus algorithm other consensus algorithm also are also there but that consensus algorithm are not given in the syllabus so we have studied four consensus algorithm proof of work proof of stake uh, proof of uh, burn and uh, fourth algorithm that we have studied is uh, proof of elapsed uh, time so this is all about the uh, 
uh, this consensus algorithm so uh, today um, in this session we will stop here uh, so we uh, uh, this may be after this uh, we will only have one session and this second unit will be completed and in the next week from next week we can start the uh, unit third so thanks for watching this session uh, goodbye